Susanna, the doctor is very worried about Xavier. About his weight. Take no notice. She's lying. Oh, why on earth would Ruby lie to me? Why on earth? Let me count the ways. Half a quiche here, extra box of Earl Grey tea bags there, German fruit bread, what's it called now? Um, stolen, that's it. All stolen. What are you going on about? The doctor said he, he's... Uh, what is it? She, she said he's something impaired. Numb nuts. Numb nuts? That sounds serious. <laughs> Glucose. Glucose impaired. And he'll get type 2 diabetes if he doesn't lose some weight. And she's going to write to you. Oh, Cupcake, come here. Only Xavier doesn't want you to know about it. And he, he's going to take the letter and forge another one. Xavier, is this true? Of course not. I'm sorry, Xavier. It's just too serious to go on lying. What do you mean, go on lying? What else have you lied about? He doesn't do any sport. He bunks off every Monday. He's always here when I'm here. He's always here? Yes. Well, why haven't you said anything before? When you came in this morning, you pretended you'd never met. He... He's blackmailing me. Because she steals things. Just leftovers. And you thought you'd blackmail her? I'd do anything to get out of games. Xavier, I didn't bring you up to be a spiteful little fraud with no integrity at all. I'm so ashamed. Oh, what's new? This is new. My son lying to me. And missing school, which incidentally costs us £4,750 a term. And then blackmailing someone who works for me to keep quiet about it. Go to your room. Oh, you grass traitor! I am sorry. You shouldn't be saying sorry to him. You should be saying sorry to me. And I should be calling the police. It was only the stuff you told me to recycle. Not that. I don't care about that. I'm, I'm pleased you put it to good use. I'd have told you to take it if you wanted it. But why didn't you? Because I was afraid it would look patronising. <gasps> if only I had your worries. Really? If I knew your son had been skipping school every week and didn't say anything to you, I couldn't live with myself. Anything could have happened. It's him I'm worried about, not the food. Really? If you're so worried about him, why are you defending a company that makes a drink that is wrecking his health and could potentially kill him? So it's somehow my fault now? Yes, well, sooner or later, some of the responsibility could be yours. It's a healthy drink. You said so yourself. Yes, but since then, I, I read in the papers that it, it, it's got this stuff in it. Um, fructose. Fructose. It's the sugar found in fruit. Yeah, but I read that when it's artificially overloaded into drinks, it can pile on the calories. Well, you know you can't believe everything you read in the papers. Yeah, I know that. I mean, when I was a child, everyone thought there was no harm in, in cigarettes. I mean, it took 40 years to believe the scientists. Can't just ban something because some people don't like it. We live in a democracy. Then why do we ban some drugs? Ah, and look what happens. Kids die of drug misuse and overdoses every day. Look what happened when alcohol was prohibited in the States. Crime and corruption followed, not to mention the price being sent sky high. Yeah, but smoking has been banned in public places and people have gone along with it. It is very difficult to argue any benefits to smoking. Whereas the benefit of this is what? Banning it will just make it more popular. That wouldn't? Not if it didn't exist. Besides, you have a choice whether to buy it or not. Yes. But does Xavier? Uh, he never seems to eat at, at meal times. I shouldn't think he even knows how to boil an egg or toast a slice of bread. But cakes and, and crisps, they're in every cupboard. And there's so much of that, you might as well be pouring it down his neck. Don't try to even pretend to put his welfare first. I trusted you. And you betrayed that trust. Please go. I am sorry. So am I. But please get out and don't think of ever coming back here. <laughs>